Hello, my name is Mike Reap, and I am a senior defensive lineman on the Generals football team. Um, in high school, I played soccer, um, baseball, uh, and football. Uh, but ultimately, I decided to continue on uh, in my college career playing football because it was a game that I really enjoyed um, and you know just had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, and knew that WNL would be a great atmosphere with the uh, with academics and athletics together, where I could pursue football and pursue uh, higher academic learning. If I could trade places with a teammate uh, that I play with here at WNL, I would have to say I would trade places with Greg Barton. Um, Greg's a close friend, and he's also an art major. And I've always kind of wanted to know what it'd be like if I, instead of going to class, I went and you know, made a sculpture, or I, uh, you know, uh, drew a drawing, or you know, painted a painting. So, uh, if if I could, I'd probably switch places with him just to get that experience uh, for a day. Uh, I really enjoy playing video games, um, and you know, kind of just hanging around, watching TV, watching movies. Uh, I really enjoy that uh, as far as kind of leisure activities. And then uh, outside of that, um, I've really I uh, enjoyed being able to serve the community. Uh, I've done a lot of work with Habitat for Humanity, uh, and, and I enjoyed giving back uh, to Rockbridge County and um, giving houses to people who, you know, helping people achieve the American dream of having their own home. Um, and just being able to be a part of that has been amazing. So I would have to say that would be probably another activity I really enjoyed outside of football. If I could have one last meal, I have to say, I really, really like the foot-long chicken teriyaki sub at Subway. I don't know why. Um, I just I love the thing. You know, put some lettuce, tomato, onions, jalapeno peppers, uh, sweet onion dressing, uh, spicy pepper relish. It's just the best. I love it. Uh, easy. My favorite moment of my uh, athletic career would have to be when we won the ODAC championship when I was here uh, as a sophomore was incredible. Um, the, it was the experience of a lifetime. We were, we were underdogs, nobody expected anything from us, and we came out and did what we needed to do and played our hearts out and won the ODAC. And you know, that picture with everybody in front of the trophy is going to be you know, ingrained in my memory for forever. So I'd have to say winning the ODAC was the greatest moment in my athletic career here at WNL. When I was a kid, I planned to be a archaeologist. Uh, I saw Indiana Jones, and I thought that was what archaeology was about. And from then on, you know, I just wanted to be an archaeologist, and I loved going to museums and you know just learning about history. Uh, so when I was younger, though, I really, really wanted to be an archaeologist. I just thought it'd be so cool unearthing the past and kind of finding buried treasure and you know these mysterious objects and artifacts that nobody knew about. So my plans for following graduation—that's <laughs> a question I get a lot, and uh, I. It might not be the, the best thing that I don't have a set path just yet. Uh, I know that uh, I'm interested in business and, and finance. Um, I have no clue where exactly I'd like to, to go in that field, but uh, I, I have a, a, a large interest there. Um, I also enjoy people and the social interaction part of business, so uh, you know, sales and something like that where, uh, where you have to have intimate contact with customers would probably be where I'd see where I'd really like to be. If I were Coach Abel and had control over practice for a day, I would probably run the team a lot. Uh, it sounds terrible, but I would love to just experience what it'd be like on, on the other side of running all those sprints during you know summer workouts and, and the spring workouts and winter workouts that we did. So I'd have to say that. Uh, it's a little cynical, but I, I'm just being honest. If they made a movie about my life, the person who'd be cast in the lead role would probably be Brad Pitt. I find him to be the closest to me of, of all the famous actors that I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, we both have blonde hair. Uh, you know, so that's, uh, that's probably who I would choose.